before we jump into this van tour, I just want to say a couple things to all the subscribers on this channel. I know it's been a while. Me and Maddie are currently not traveling anymore. Uh, we actually moved into a shop in Ontario. We are doing custom van conversions. We are booked up for quite a while now, so we're going to be staying put. Um, so this channel might turn more into van tours, van builds, just some daily videos around the shop, shop tours, stuff like that for now. In the future, we do want to get some traveling videos in when we go to all the van festivals and stuff. We also have our own van build, our flagship van build coming up here uh, whenever that van arrives. Uh, but for now, yeah, uh, Van City Conversions is our company. We're based in Ancaster, Ontario. Links will be down below. And uh, yeah, appreciate you guys all sticking around. If you're not subscribed yet, if you're interested in this new content make sure to drop that subscribe and let us know your thoughts on this video and this uh, awesome van tour we're really happy with how it turned out so let's get right into it all right it is about negative 20 outside right now so we wanted to do this outside we got some clips it's way too cold so we're gonna jump into it here we're in the shop it's a full shop today uh, so we'll try to give you the best angles and we'll do the best we can and yeah, let's start exterior wise what we have on this rig for the most part they wanted to keep this van stealth as much as you can they didn't go with any of the fancy Nerf bars, side ladders, all that. And it's just a stock 2019 170 wheelbase uh, Sprinter van, the high roof. On the roof, it is equipped with a Dometic RTX uh, 2000. That's a 12 volt uh, AC unit um, with 600 watts of solar. That's three 200 watt panels and the Max Air Fan Deluxe. And they also mounted a Wii Boost which is this little signal booster here. Those two go together. And then the only other exterior thing would be the 30 amp shore power on the outside and um, an outlet for the compostable toilet to vent that out. Other than that, exterior wise, um, that's about it. Um, you have some shoe storage um, under here, which is closed off in the step. The amount of times me and Maddie personally have had shoes fall out on the ground while traveling and you drive off and don't realize it's annoying. Um, so you have your shoe storage there and then this is their flip up table you have the option to have it be an extension of your countertop they wanted a flip up table to be a secondary work desk for the swivel seat the passenger seat that flips up gives you as much room you'll still be able to reach when you're sitting there perfect sitting height and then when you want to collapse it there's two clips under here and uh, set it down all right, sitting up here in the front of the van, they have uh, window coverings, which are actually being stored up top, overhead storage. This is like your favorite junk drawer of a van. It's your best friend. Always recommend putting these in. Moving down, they have their blackout curtains at nighttime. You can close these up um, with the two Scopima swivels. These are actually from the swivel shop. Um, I've used these swivels in a couple builds and they're probably uh, the highest in quality that I've seen, I've used. Um, so sticking with these bad boys, they have the two swivels in the front. Moving up to their other seating area here, they have their Lagoon table mount, um, which is a little tight right now because we're just driving, but that swivels um, for their seating area. You can use it for a desk sitting here, um, other person sitting on the bench, or all three of you can have your own table while you're sitting here. And you can still have three people um, sit here um, with a separate workstation. You could have two people here sharing a table. Um, so they wanted a seating area incorporated and they got it. All right, so this whole seating area as well incorporates a 24 inch monitor. Um, this is mounted to the wall. You can drive with it. When you want to move it, you pull down and this extends out mainly for the reason um, the person sitting here doing work, the client wanted to be able to watch TV. Um, or the other person sitting here. So you do have that TV there, which is easily um, put away, clicks into place, uh, and it will not move. All right, so the seating area, if you wanna move the table over. Their bench seat, uh, you can remove uh, the custom upholstered cushion for that, that area. And under here, you wanna use all the storage you can. So you lift this up, and you can throw your towels down there, your dirty laundry, your shoes, whatever you want. Uh, we just really want to make this bench space and all this storage um, accessible and not go to waste. And you just put the cushion back in your seating area. It's back to normal. When it comes to the sink area, um, we went with a pearl black faucet, a nice deep pearl uh, black sink um, underneath 
is pretty basic. They have their 20 gallon uh, gray water tank, which is easily removable. And we actually have a three stage water filtration system under there. So wherever you're filling up, you can turn on the tap and drink, uh, have a nice cup of cold water. Moving on to the countertop in this build. Um, it is a quartz countertop by Caesar Stone, which is sourced out. Uh, we actually had their induction cooktop, um, two burner right here, um, flush, mounted with the counter so it's all smooth you're not losing out on any counter space whatsoever um, which is nice all of our drawers and cabinets have the RV 42 millimeter latches um, all soft closing and automatically lock into place which is huge for when you're driving none of these things open um, every single thing in this van will not open up when you're driving um, and every single thing is soft closing moving on to the overheads um, they have a full row of overheads on the passenger side of the van. Plenty of storage. Like I said, again, they will not open. You have to click them in, open them up, soft opening, locking in place. Uh, they have all their dishes here, storage. And they have two more overhead, uh, which is going to be used for clothes. Push it down. It's locked into place. Cannot open them. Last thing kitchen-wise is their fridge. Uh, it is a C85 um, by Vertifrigo. It is made in Italy. Uh, they're super efficient. They're, they're really high-end, well-built. One of the biggest things in a van is having a good fridge, in my opinion. Something that's going to last you through those hot days in the summer, keep your food cold, not rotting on you. Plenty of space, fridge and freezer, and it looks really nice being able to flush mount, set into the cabinetry, uh, just ties the whole build together. Before we move on to the electrical, one of the things to talk about with these cabinets as well is the undermounted. They're placed in a track. Uh, the LED light strips let's go all along the undermounted cabinets. You cannot um, really feel them from underneath. They look clean and then inside you cannot see anything whatsoever. So they're built in. Really happy with the finish of that and it just gives you that secondary uh, lighting option if you want the pot lights off. Moving on to the electrical, this might bore some people or some people might like this stuff, the part of the build. Up top we have all the switches, like I said, pot lights are currently on, under cabinet lights. You then have, I'll show you later, a secondary light in the shower. Uh, moving over, you have the water pump, you turn that on. Um, and then you have, this is the electronic ball valve. When you open this up, your gray water tank for the shower automatically drains. Day like today, negative 20, you're having a shower, you wanna drain it right away, you're not going under there, pulling a valve, that's nice. And probably one of the coolest things, you can tell by the title as well, is you turn this on, and the floors me and Maddie are standing on are now heated within five to 10 minutes. So we have radiant 12 volt floor heating, and this whole van, obviously excluding under the bed, uh, from where I'm standing to the front, heated floors, which is a nice, uh, especially during these winter months. Moving down, we have the Victron, the BMV 712. Um, it's almost mandatory in every build now. This tells you all your information, your battery life, how many watts is pulling your amperage, how many amp hours you have left, um, and a lot more you can do uh, with the app on your phone as well. Moving over to the left, we have the multi-control. Uh, this is for the multi plus 3000 watt inverter. Uh, you can adjust the current limit, the amperage, uh, what you want in and out, which is pretty much handy for when you're plugged into shore power. Um, and that's the other option this thing can do is with a flick of a switch, uh, you can turn the shore power on off and you can also turn the inverter on and off, uh, which affects the 110 outlets around the van. We have the remote here for the Max Air fan, which is over their bed. Uh, we have a couple outlets here for uh, 110 appliances. You want to plug in your phone, charge overnight. And then right beside it, this is their switch for their hot water heater. Um, you can turn it on for 30 minutes, 15, 10, or 5 um, really good to preserve that hot water. If you want to have a shower, push to 30 minutes. You have 30 minutes of hot water, hot, hot water when showering. I can't talk, uh, which is really nice. The last two things here are the water level gauge. So this is your fresh water level gauge. It's currently empty. Um, and this tells you how much water you pretty much have left in your vehicle. It is a 32 gallon fresh water tank. We'll talk and I'll show you a bit more of that later. And then over here is the upgraded LCD modular um, or control for the diesel heater, which they have in this van. Um, so you can set this on a timer. A uh, lot of functions with this. It's way better than the stock factory one. Um, for example, you can set a weekly timer. So if you can have it 
during the winter months, have the heater running when you're away from your van. Uh, you can have it running um, for an hour when you go out if you want to leave your dog in it during the winter, stuff like that, super handy. Before we move on to the last part of the kitchen, I mentioned this on the exterior. This is the Dometic RTX 2000. Um, we got rid of the ugly trim piece they give you. It's big and bulky. We created our own trim piece. It is removable if you ever have to maintenance anything in here. Um, and it, you do not lose that much headspace. We put the biggest gasket on. So normally it would sit down about six inches. Um, this one, it's only about two. And you have all the controls up here. So this is a true 12 volt AC. You can run this for about six to seven hours in the hottest months in the summer. Um, and it's, uh, it's kind of a game changer when it comes to van life. It comes to the last part of the kitchen. Um, they have a full floor to ceiling pantry. Um, pop off the latch and you can open this. We'll give you some better shots, but all the way. You can store all your canned goods, whatever you want here. Um, yet again, soft closing and same, same with the bottom. Moving on to the shower, this beautiful door. It's super cool. It's made by a company called Nautilus. It is a self squeegeeing, super lightweight easily to store, open and close, and this reveals your shower. Inside the shower, we have the Calia shower head uh, with the hot and cold faucet there, and we have the Nature's Head compostable toilet. This stays in here when you shower. You can get this whole thing wet. When you're going to the washroom, you can close the door. It gives you some privacy. It is easily removable when you have to empty it out, and it is topped off with the Cedar uh, custom-made shower pan uh, for the bottom which is nice in a sense. It smells good when you're showering pretty much. If you ever smelled cedar wood when it's wet, it's amazing. Before we hop into the bedroom, I'm gonna show you the drawers. Uh, we'll give you some better shots of these, but these are all storage for clothes. The one cool feature our client wanted is this bottom drawer is on 100 pound slides, but it's also on ball bearings. So you can use this to step on to get up into bed. It is also removable like I said, to not waste space and still have some storage down in there. It's going to be hard to give you some shots, but moving on to the bedroom. On either side, they have opening and closing CRL windows, uh, the bunk windows uh, on each side. They have more overhead cabinets along the passenger side. And right here beside me, they actually have another 24-inch adjustable uh, TV mounted there. Um, full size, it's a queen short mattress, but a full size bed can fit here. Um, and yeah, super spacious and does give you that feel of kind of being enclosed in a bedroom, which is nice. Right above them in the roof also is their max air fan. Um, beside the bed, they have some outlets to charge their phone, which I'll show you a better look at. But yeah, that's, that's the inside of this van. All right, moving on to their garage space. We tried to keep this as spacious as possible. I'll talk a bit more, but on the right side is all their electrical. On the left side is all their plumbing. Uh, they have some hangers here for the cords, their shore power. Um, and then moving on to the left, they have their outdoor shower. So you have the quick disconnect and connect for the shower. You have hot and cold out here. And this is actually your water fill station to fill your uh, 32 gallon fresh water tank. Um, moving on to the garage, we made this custom made drawer. They are on 500 pound slides. We don't have room in here, unfortunately, to extend it all the way, but this thing fully extends. Um, and like I said, I can hang off this thing. Uh, it's 500 pound slides, which is nice. So instead of reaching in there, trying to grab your heavy cooler or your, your climbing gear, whatever you have, you can just pull it out, easily access it, push it right back in. It's not going anywhere. Also stored in there for their outdoor shower, we have their shower pan. If you're pulling up somewhere at a campsite, the worst thing is showering and then having muddy feet right after. So you throw this, like I said, another cedar shower pan um, or shower base on the ground and you can stand on that. Keep yourself clean. Cool feature on this van, under the bed, if you lift it up here, um, it is three separate CNC pieces. Uh, this is made by a good friend of mine, Andy at Overland Interiors. This helps with a lot of things. One of them being weight reduction and the main thing being mold buildup. With a mattress, you want some ventilation through the garage. You need air to prevent mold, especially if you're in damp climates. So that's super helpful. And the right side in this unit is all their electrical. Um, client's going to be here soon. Don't want to take out the whole mattress. We'll post some pictures. Everything's linked on Instagram. Um, but when it comes to components, what's used in this build to power this beast, we have four 100 amp hour lithium batteries. We have a Victron 3000 watt multi-plus inverter charger, which allows for the shore power. We have an Orion 12 volt 
a 30 amp DC to DC charger, which allows you to charge your alternator while driving. Uh, we have the Lynx distributor, 1000 amp bus bar, um, and everything is fused with mega fuses. We have uh, correct shutoffs. Uh, we have the MPPT charge controller by Victron as well. Um, everything is mainly Victron under there. Love them as a brand. I've always used them. Uh, great products. Finish it off with the plumbing. 32 gallon fresh water tank. You have the tankless 3.5 gallon hot water heater that allows for all their hot water in the van. And then we always go with the SureFlow water pump and accumulator tank. That is all tucked away nice and neat under there. But the only access being to fill it and uh, obviously from the panel over top of the bed. When it comes to the door, there's hundreds of options to finish it. We just wanted to stick and they wanted to stick with a clean, fresh, white look. So we got the panels, um, pretty much the factory panels. We custom made this one for the door. Um, and yeah, it just cleans the whole build uh, together. So we forgot to end the video. I'm just finishing editing it up right now. I realized we did not do an outro. I'm gonna do one now. Um, if you guys want any more information on items used in this build, if you have any questions, let us know what you liked about it. Let us know what you do differently. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, like I said, please feel free to leave them down below. Um, and all of our social medias, our Instagram, our website, if you wanna get in touch with us, ask us some questions, that'll be on the link down below, as well as some of the companies we worked with um, in the process of making this build. Um, yeah. I think that's about it. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like, um, subscribe if you're new around here, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.